To any observer, the night sky appears as if it is a hemisphere resting on the horizon. It is almost as if there is a surface to the heavens on which the stars seem to be fixed. This is why one way to describe star patterns and the motions of heavenly bodies is to present them on the surface of a sphere. The celestial sphere presupposes that Earth is at the center of the view, which extends into infinity. Three-dimensional coordinates are used to mark the position of stars, planets, constellations, and other heavenly bodies. The Earth rotates eastward daily on its axis, and that rotation produces an apparent westward rotation of the starry sphere. This causes the heavens to seem to rotate about a northern or southern celestial pole. These celestial poles are an infinite, imaginary extension of Earth's poles. The plane of Earth's equator, extended to infinity, marks the celestial equator. In addition to their apparent daily motion around the Earth, the sun, moon, and planets of the solar system have their own motion with respect to the sphere. The Earth moves about the sun in an ecliptic plane. A line perpendicular to the ecliptic plane defines the ecliptic pole. All of the planets in the solar system revolve around the sun in nearly the same plane as Earth, so their movements are projected onto the celestial sphere nearly on the Earth's ecliptic. The moon's orbit is tilted approximately 5 degrees from this plane, and so its position in the sky varies from the ecliptic more than those of the planets. An individual's location on the Earth determines how much of the celestial sphere he can see. A person sitting at the North Pole would only see the stars of the northern celestial hemisphere. A person who looks to the sky from the equator will see the entire celestial sphere as the daily motion of the Earth carries him around. 